Hi there, Addy here from www.heyaddy.com. Uh, here with the housing mark, mark market charts for t July 2010, as issued by Toronto Real Estate Board. Uh, if you would like more information about the uh, charts that I'm providing, or if you'd like to get a full copy of the market report, you could always uh, give me a call at one eight seven seven Hey Addy, or drop me an email at Addy at Heyaddy com, and I can email them out to you. So let's take a look at the numbers that are posted for last month by Toronto Real Estate Board and and, their, and its realtors. So for July 2010, the total number of sales that are reported are 65.64, which is a 34% decrease over July 2009, showing numbers at 99.67. Now, there were higher numbers that are being posted before, as you can see. So there was quite a substantial difference. And this uh, I would attribute towards the new changes that were coming in by CMHC. And uh, you were not allowed to purchase a property unless you had 20% down with for investment property, as well as the criteria that was signed up for uh, home buyers, where they have to now qualify for a five-year uh, posted rates. So because of that, we saw a big increase in the number of uh, transactions that were taking place. Uh, let's talk about new listings that are coming into the marketplace. Uh, last year, in July 2009, the number of listings that entered the marketplace were 12,174, and for July 2010, we're seeing the numbers at 10,825. The sales to new listing ratio, obviously, if the sales are higher and the new no number of new listings are lower, uh, the ratio would be much higher, which shows that the average price will be increasing. So you can see that happening over here where the ratios are much higher and in the next slide you will see that the prices are much higher so the average resale prices as you can see are skyrocketing so because there was a lot of demand created the average sale prices went through the roof uh, there was actually a 12 percent increase over last year in 2009 the average sale price was reported at 420,482 and this year we reported it at 432,253 the actual, uh, sorry, sales, uh, uh, the TREB MLS sales. So this is uh, a trend line, which is the average sales per year, whereas this that you see over here is based on the month and as they are happening. So this is the actual versus an average. So we're seeing there was an increase in the sales that were taking place, and this shows there was higher demand being created, and now the demand is dropping off. Uh, monthly timeline with new listings so the no number of new listings were going down we saw demand was on the increase so there is uh, new listing the number of new listings entering the market was much lower at this point now we're seeing an increase with a decrease taking place this month so there's an 11 percent decrease so new listings coming up are at 10,825 for the last month uh, monthly time series with trend line so this is the average as you can see average prices are on the rise uh, where it's going to go from here nobody knows we'll see how the market reacts to uh, the changes that have come through uh, sales to new listing compared to average price percentage change so there is a decrease as you can see in the average price percentage change so the well, this is showing that the price percentage that have been changing is decreasing this is where we saw the uh, the increase of 12 percent but month over month it's 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 being it's month over month it's been pretty steady but it actually has been decreasing uh, whereas we are seeing an increase in sales to new, new listing ratio so I would imagine that these would cross off each other uh, affordability indicator so as you can see back in the 89s the affordability indicator was really in the in the slump for uh, for uh, Canadians sorry Torontonians so now we're seeing that the affordability index is starting to go up which means that the prices are increasing and it's becoming harder to purchase a property um, well it's it's while it's better than 2007 levels uh, the affordability is still very 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 accessible for um, for first-time buyers and uh, uh, buyers and sellers that are looking to sell and purchase a new property. 
but it is higher because some of the factors that came into play were the 20% down payment for investment properties and because you had to have uh, approval based on a five-year fixed mortgage uh, with 25-year amortization. So that does affect the affordability. So for people that were able to afford properties before are not going to be able to afford them now, uh, which is a good on overall sense because uh, it will generally lead to a stronger marketplace. So that was the housing charts. Uh, if you have any questions about any of the information provided, feel free to give me a shout. You can drop me an email at uh, addy, A-D-D-Y, at heyaddy.com. You can visit our website at www.heyaddy.com, or you could reach me by phone at one eight seven seven hey addy Hope you enjoyed it, and if you have any questions, feel free to drop us a line. Talk to you soon. Take care.